to go away that yeah Mackies yeah Liverpool Mackies Graham's with us today as well and there's the Dosser okay Everton away this is the one uh, well it's the one that I don't think anyone knows what's going to happen in terms of how this United team is going to turn up you've had obviously the press conference which I covered yesterday on the United stand when I was talking about what Ralph was saying and I had complete agreement with it that we need to be at it. We need to be fully focused, determined, committed to everything that goes on today. All we need to do is match our Everton's work ethic and we will win this game. We just had our breakfast now. We're going to head into Goodison Park now, get parked up and walk into the ground, grab the atmosphere and the build-up to it. Uh, hopefully the weather holds off a little bit uh, and we actually have a dry day. I don't fancy a bad away game with it pissing down again, I'll be honest. By the way, this McDonald's here, yeah? caters for the fat bastards of the world my god how long do we have to wait you know what i mean make the effort to go in mcdonald's and stand there no let's serve the fatties that are in the lazy bastards i should say more you know the ones that are sat at home and the ones that are in the drive through it's off you know what i mean making me wait like that and they got the order wrong so this mac is going down in the crap category anyway let's head to goodison let's go and get some football vibes Okay, episode two on this vlog has started a bit earlier than what we thought because just as I got in the car then from speaking outside of Mackey's, we found out that Graham, the silly man, has left his ticket back in his car because he's come with us today. So he is, <laughs> he is now on his way back in my car because he's insured on it to go and grab his ticket to hopefully get back in time. We're about an hour and a half to go. We should just about scrape it. But my God, yeah, this is what match days are about. Events happening all the time. But yeah, me and Alfie now are just walking down the road. It's a bit of a thingy with the light there, so I'm walking backwards so you can see me a bit better. The sun the lighting's not great on this side, but yeah, on our way into Goodison now. So yeah, events are ready, people. Match days. God, away days are back.
Park in Liverpool, having been beaten by Everton, relegation fodder, with field in the background. As far as Saturday's goal, Heineken, oh sorry, it's Carlsberg, isn't it? Carlsberg didn't make this one. This has been a shocker. It's been an absolutely horrid, horrible day. I mean, I said at half time there, I had the, my ultimate fear was coming to the fore, and I was thinking, no, surely, surely not again. Surely we're not going to get that same old United pathetic reaction. And you just seen the clip there that I put it all over social media there. The disgrace of these players walking off in red shirts. The front, the, the, the absolute front to actually walk off that pitch 10 feet away from the fans and not even acknowledge them. After that shower of shit that you just put us through again. One win in eight, Everton. Make that two in nine now. United have rolled into down and laid over and had the bellies tickled again like we always fucking do. I'm so fed up with this football club and football team at the moment. It's devoid of connection with the fan base. And that showed it towards the end there, at the end of that game. It was an absolute disgrace from them players. Absolute disgrace on the pitch. An absolute disgrace walking off it. I've just done my fan vlogs now for the United stand and every single United fan there has had enough, absolute enough. And I know we keep saying this, we've had a lot of shit to deal with this season. I honestly cannot see United running a game, running through to the end of the season, looking at the, the absolute dejection in their players' faces. It's like, oh, we've got it hard, haven't we? We've got it hard here at United, everyone's against us. Welcome to United, knobheads. This is what it's like every single week. Everyone wants to beat you and you have to up your game every single time. You cannot do it. You cannot even match a running on pure adrenaline Everton side who played in the week who were knackered from the first minute. But as soon as that goal went in, you down tools and you weren't able to handle the atmosphere again, yet again, again and again and again. Every single week. They're absolutely pathetic, this bunch of players that are wearing United shirts right now. I'm just adding off. How many times? What was it? I mean, 1 1 against Leicester. Poor. Lost again, 1 0. We can't score a fucking goal. It doesn't look like we're going to create a goal. And right now, I just I don't see any way. Europe is off. So I mean, I don't know. I don't think we're going to make Europe now. Playing like this, we've got bigger games to come. Leicester and Everton were supposed to be the easy ones. Norwich is even a big game now. Because after that, we're here. We're at this place. We're off to Anfield and we ain't getting nothing out of that game. So there's another one. I say we're going to lose Arsenal. We're going to lose Liverpool 100%. Can we beat Norwich and get three points? We're just lying over. We're just falling apart right now. This has been the worst season post for Alex Ferguson. I've said it before. I've been saying it for about three months now. This is worse than David Moyes. It's officially worse than David Moyes. That today was abject at best. Absolute devoid of any passion at all for that United shirt. Absolute disgrace for a football team right now. Guys, I'm out of here. I've had enough today already. The weekend is ruined again. Well... Thanks United, I'm getting better at that at least anyway. Oh, that's a guarantee we can get every weekend. You'll at least you ruin it, don't you? But yeah, not much more I can say. Stuck in a car park in Liverpool with Anfield in the background, a club that's going places, our rivals, a club that knows how to run itself and invest in itself and actually work properly on and off the pitch. Not going anywhere, watching Everton fans all boisterous, flags out the scar, scarfs out the cars and everything, loving it, thinking they're safe now. Because we've rolled over for him and let him off. Nephew United, that's what I say. Latest people, bye bye.